big bamboo news. Um, not maybe what you're expecting. This is a big code drop in Kirimoto. What this is going to do is provide you the ability inside of Kirimoto to manage you know, as many bamboo printers that are on your local network or any network you can reach from your local network um, if the printers are in land mode and you have full control. Um, everything from you know things like temperatures to starting and stopping and controlling jobs to AMS settings. Um, you have a live video stream. And what is different about this versus every other Bamboo control system is it doesn't rely on Bamboo's proprietary plugin. Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio both use a binary delivered by Bamboo. This is written from scratch. Um, it's 100% open source. It's all available for you to inspect. The code is really pretty simple. So even this video stream is just a series of JPEGs delivered over a pipe um, once you authenticate it. So you can see that this is a live image. And in addition to that, if you're um, just using a slicer as you normally would, when you slice and export a print, um, in when you have a bamboo device selected, any of your printers will show up here, and then you have the option of sending the file directly or sending plus starting the print. So I'm gonna show you how to do this yourself. You can either download the pre-built electron binaries, which I'm running here, or you can run it from scratch from the command line. I'm gonna show you how to build your own and run it from the command line. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Hold on a sec. So here we are in the command line and we're going to first clone the repository. Go into the repository and grab the current branch, development branch, run setup. And as soon as we have done the setup, we're just gonna pull in the electron and other dependencies, which might take a second. We're going to type npm run start, which is going to start the electron build. It's just going to compress the files. And here we go. We're now running electron binary of Kirimoto local. And to set up a printer on your local network, we're going to go into the machine dialog, select your bamboo printer, and customize it. This is going to allow the manage button to show up, which is going to give us the dialog for the Bamboo Manager. We're going to disable showing of passwords and things like that. And then uh, you'll see that it's already found my printer on the network. Uh, if it hasn't found my printer or your printer, click new. Anyway, so it comes up with the IP address and the serial number, which is broadcast to every local network by the printer itself. And then I'm going to paste in the uh, LAN code, which is on the front of the printer, and say connect. And it's going to give you here the record, which is showing you the live update record of what the printer is streaming back. And that's all this information here and this information over here. And I can also then go and show the video stream from the printer. And there we go. It's as simple as that. I'm fully set up and I'm ready to go and start doing printing with my uh, local bamboo printer all over the local network, all using complete open source and without touching the cloud. My printers are blocked from talking to the internet by my firewall. So I know that there's no traffic going from my printer to the cloud. Um, I'm really interested in your feedback on this. Please go test it out and jump on the forums or in Discord and help me debug anything that might not be working here. And I'll be adding more AMS options this week so that you can control things like filament mappings and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this is really useful and I look forward to hearing back from you.